this? What's happening here? My hair was stuck to the ceiling. <laughs> Hello Snack Pack, welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today's episode is another favorite things, but this time the kitchen edition. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all the things and all the products that I use in my van that bring me comfort and joy. You know, I'm pretty much addicted to Amazon, so most of these things are gonna come from Amazon, so I'll leave the links to all these products in the description of this video, but there's a lot of great stuff. When the roof leaks and gas prices rise, and I'm feeling sad. I simply remember my favorite things. And then I don't feel so bad. I think the kitchen stuff is probably some of my favorite things in general. So let's get it popping. I'm just gonna go through it in no real particular order, but I'm gonna save some of the best ones for last because they really are things that just make me truly happy. Okay, the first thing is this little basket that I got off of Amazon. It's lined and I cut a hole into the bottom because there's a ratchet strap over here that connects all the way down to the sides of the refrigerator so that it keeps my refrigerator in place. And it just fits perfectly and I have a little Velcro here. And this is what keeps all of my utensils and stuff. It just flips up pretty easily. Right now it's a mess. Oh, that's not a good idea. But I usually just grab something and go, so it's not a big deal. I just have one fork, one spoon. These are just from Walmart. I know I'm not supposed to, but I collect straws sometimes just in case I need to have a straw. If I go somewhere and they give me plastic utensils, I keep them so I can kind of reuse them. I do reuse the, the plastic ones a few times. Somehow I've accumulated a lot. Actually, I have two forks. I have this one big straw for when I got boba the first time and I didn't really love it. Wow, I really accumulated some of these this plastic wear. Okay, note to self, don't collect any more straws or plastic wear because you have plenty. This is what sometimes happens when you live in a small place. You think you need more than you do and it becomes an accumulation. So don't do that. Learn from my mistakes. Actually, another plastic knife. What the heck? How much is in here? And another straw. Oh my gosh, really? And another plastic knife. What am I doing? What, what am I cutting? Why do I need all this? I don't. All right, let's put that here for now. Okay, the next thing that I love are these two ceramic knives. This is just for cutting bigger things. It's a uh, barberware and this one's a paring knife. These just glide so smoothly. I've cut my finger a few times because I'm clumsy when I cook for some reason, but these work really, really well and they have their own separate covers. So I really like these. And then these little magnetic measuring spoons. Oh my gosh. Whew. It's a windy day, so the door may not stay open. Stay open. The next thing are these magnetic measuring spoons. It starts from one fourth teaspoon to a tablespoon. And there's two sides on here. I think one is for dry and one's for wet. They're really cool because they stay together and I can keep them in one spot. Now the next thing I haven't used very often, but the couple times that I have used it, it worked pretty well. It's my tofu press. Now I have a love-hate relationship with tofu, so that's why I don't use this very often. As you can see, it's dusty. But basically you just open this up, stick the tofu, like the little block of tofu in there, and then you squish this down. And then you lock this in place and then you just twist this down and it just keeps like pressing 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 and then the cool thing about this one is that the juice runs into here so it's like in this bottom section so you could just empty it out outside or in your sink or whatever so then you don't have like slimy tofu and that makes it easier to make things like scrambles and stuff like that so again i haven't used this very much but when i did it worked really well oh since i'm here this isn't really a gadget, but I love to have my own Starbucks classic flavored liquid sugar. As you can tell, I love sugary coffees. Sometimes I go to Starbucks and I order the iced coffee the way I want it and they don't put enough sweetener and enough pumps of classic. So I just decided to go and buy this. They have it on Amazon or you can sometimes get it at the Starbucks, but I always carry one bottle of this. I've been trying to ease up on it, which I haven't used this probably in at least a month now but i always have this for sweetness emergencies classic no oh, you're gonna annoy me to the fullest 
this today, aren't you? Let me put this to the side so I have room to show you the next thing. Ah. You are a hoe. I swear, this door is so annoying. <sighs> I need a bungee. And I don't have that, so... Whatever. It's just gonna be a little more darker in here. I just can't. I can't. Okay, these next two things have to do with making coffee. And these are some of my favorite things. The first thing is my AeroPress, which, okay, let me come clean. I did a video over a year ago when I was living in my car about three different ways to make coffee living in a car. And at the time I tried this and I was like, this is too complicated because it came in like all these different pieces when I got it. It has these three pieces, the filters, the scooper, a tray to keep these in and like something else. And I'm just like, this is too many parts for a car. And I decided to choose a different me like method. It was like a mesh strainer. And I tried that thing in real life for a few times and it was more of a mess. Went back to the AeroPress, gave it a try a few more times and now I love it. It's so easy. This is how I make coffee every day. So I'm gonna make a cup of coffee to show you because the next thing that goes with this that's, that I just truly love is my collapsible electric kettle and it's a silicone so it comes in this satin bag this is a, like a 110 like a regular plug situation so for those of you that don't have that it's not a 12 volt so that's kind of a bummer but if you have a jackery you could use this this is 700 watts so you would have to have the like thousand watt jackery or something equivalent but anyways my system's set up so that i can use this just as a quick side note, I did find a 12 volt version of this. It's a little bit different in style, size, and price, but I still think it's worth it because not only do I use this for coffee, but I also heat up water for tea, oatmeal, and things like that. Plus I use it to heat up water when I'm in between showers at Planet Fitness. I can heat up the water and use this to take a bird bath in my van. Okay, so the cool thing about this is it comes with a lid, but let me take that out. It's so thin and easy to store. And so all you do is just Take the silicone and pop it up and you have a kettle. It's so awesome. Wow, I really do love that collapsible kettle. But you know what else I love? The Snack Pack family. How do you become part of it? Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Throw a like on this video and keep watching till the end. The best is yet to come. Slide the handle right in and put it right here. Fill it with some water. Put the lid on. And then this plugs into the back and this just plugs in. Now, no joke, all you gotta do is hit this and it's gonna heat up in like probably less than four minutes. I don't know, it's like so fast. In the meantime, what I do, I bought this coffee mug from Walmart. It's just a cheap one and I didn't know if it was gonna work, but this holds the heat really well. It's the Mainstays brand and it's just awesome. So to get everything ready, all I do is put this down here, grab one of these filters, and I've literally had this for like two years, and I still have this many, but you can buy more of these, or you can even buy, which I'm gonna do when this runs out, I think I'm gonna buy one of the metal strainers, mesh things. So when I'm waiting for the water to heat up, I just get all this ready. This goes on to here. Some people like dab it with some wetness. I used to do that, but I don't do that anymore. And then you just do this. See, the water's already heating up and I can't even do this fast enough. I use the uh, French Market coffee with chicory because... Oh. French Market coffee with chicory, medium dark roast. Let me spill that, wouldn't have been a good idea. And I just do one scoop, pour it in here, put this on top of my mug, put this away. and it's already boiling. So I unplug it immediately. All I do is pour this. I use the back of the scoop to stir. Let me get my paper towel ready. Rip it in half. You can hear it and it's just like, I don't know if you could see it, but it's just like a sludge. So you stir it around and then I dry this off and put this plunger on it. 
Now the plunger needs to sit for three minutes. You can let it go for however long. And it's just gonna like slowly drip through that paper mesh thing. And in the meantime, I usually get like my creamer out and just clean up a little bit, but this is just a demonstration. I have this, what the heck? I have this old Nestle hot chocolate container and I lined it with a gallon sized bag. What I do, let's just push this down. Pretend it was three minutes. So you just push this down like a French press and it'll give you some resistance if it's not ready, but you'll hear the fizzle. Now, once you hit that little fizzle, you just dab it up, unscrew this, and you'll see that this is the paper with the grounds in there. So all I do, drop it in my thing. And then I take my paper towel and clean it every time right away so it stays clean. I immediately clean up, take this handle off, close it down. the lid and it's back in a flat bag and then I just store it in here if I have creamer I'm not gonna do it but if I had creamer, I would just pour it in and stir it with this dry it off put my lid back on and bam nice cup of coffee it's like a French press nice rich roast I just keep the grounds with the paper in there until it gets full and then I can just take this out and throw it away that keeps it all nice this what's happening here my hair was stuck to the ceiling <laughs> okay a lot of you guys already know this but the next thing I love is my fridge and freezer my dorm fridge this is just something that I knew that I wanted right up front I knew I wanted my fridge to be lifted higher so I don't have to crouch down when I want to get some food or snacks so it's built up on like a platform wooden thing that my dad and I created and then my toilet is underneath there I love it because it's got a lot of room inside, not only for fridge stuff, but for freezer stuff. It'll hold a whole bag of ice, lots of stuff. I've even put in a frozen pizza in here. It's just, it's pretty deep back there, so it, it holds a lot. Another thing I added were these little containers. It's kind of messy right now. A cleaning project for a future video. This is the glass shelf that it came with, but this clear plastic things, and then I just took some of that putty that you get from the dollar store and just put it on here so it's it's pretty much on there. You could take it off, but I don't feel like doing that. Without these little containers, everything would be sliding off the shelf, so when I would open, it would fall out. So these keep everything in place, and these were just the perfect size for this fridge. And I only needed to put two in there, and then there's some room on the side so I can fit some stuff on the side as well. The other thing that I love are these little security closure things. This locks the doors in place, so when I drive, they don't shimmy open. These are considered like those baby locks, so it just locks into place, and you have to use your two fingers to open it like this. It's pretty quick. I showed this in another video, but I also like this wooden golden stand and I got this on Amazon as well and it fits just perfectly with velcro and it holds my paper towels my little plant my coffee usually I put bread back here in like a tissue box or whatever and it's just like a cute decor item which I really love oh, I should probably put my vegan A's back in the fridge now there's three last things that I really love about my kitchen the first one is my ninja foodie five quart now typically people will get the six quart or the eight quart, but it's just me. And even a five quart I think is a little bit too big, but I can cook all sorts of things in here. Oh, actually there's one extra thing. It comes in a stack of two and there's actually, I think there's actually a third one with a strainer, but it comes with a leg. So you can steam up different things. Like you can put veggies in here or fish in here, whatever, stack them on top of each other. So I got these on Amazon. They were a good purchase. These metal stacker pans that I got are unavailable, so I'll link to an equally as good of one, but they all come with this little picker-upper thing. So you just put the two containers in there or one, whatever you are doing, and you just slide this under here. And then it allows you to pick up 
one or two at the same time. Now, this is for the air fryer, so you take this part out. And that's the only way this is going to fit, is if you put it all the way down. And you cannot use the air fryer lid for this stackable thing. You have to use the pressure cooker lid. Go. And it will fit perfectly with the stacker in there. Sometimes I don't even mess with this little picker upper thingy. And I have two of these silicone potholder type things. And so if I don't use the picker upper thing, I'll use this to pick up the pan directly. And I'll use the second one to lift the pan out and put it here. Or if I use the picker upper thingy, I can just put this right here as I'm preparing like my plates and stuff. But my Ninja Foodi is really great. This is my biggest power draw in the van. I think it's 1500 watts. It doesn't run 1500 watts the whole time. Once it gets going, it like lowers down, but I don't know the exact, but I just plug it into my wall socket, turn it on, pressure cook, steam, slow cook, yogurt, which I'm not going to make yogurt, sear or saute. Then down here it's air crisp, which is like an air fryer, bake and roast and broil. Then you can just keep it warm and you change the temp and the time here. I didn't know if I was going to be able to run this in my van because of the power consumption, but so far it's worked great and it does all the things that I need. I did buy a one burner stove, which worked really great and I'll link it. I'll link all the stuff in the description, but I thought it worked really great with propane or with butane, but I just found that I didn't need it because I just cook everything in this thing. So I love that. This is my 40 ounce water bottle. I also have a 32 ounce in the same brand, but that 32 ounce fits in the cup holder up there. This 40 ounce fits right here, just back here. I keep it here all the time. This right here is just a koozie that had sprinkles on it that I just cut the bottom off because I don't like to touch this when it has condensation. So I just put that on there. I love this thing because it has a straw and you just sip it and it locks into place so it doesn't spill. But the main, main, main thing I love is this thing right here. This thing is called a little sucker, little sucker. They have different colors and patterns and stuff. I bought two of them, but they do have a four pack. And what this thing does is you just put it on the edge of your bottle or cup or whatever. It could, it works on like a lot of different sizes. And then you just put it down and it just keeps it sucked up onto the counter. So when I'm driving, so that's why I just leave it back here. I put it here, keeps my tissue from falling out. And I'm just driving away and I don't have to think about it. And then all you do is you just stick your like fingernail under it and grab it like this. So it's just easy to grab. And then it just sticks in place. You know, it just stays. It's a genius thing. I don't know. I just, cause I don't want to have to keep taking my water from back here to up there to back here to up there. It stay hydrated. Bam. It just stays there. So I do love my countertop my faucet, my sink, all the other things in my kitchen. I still love all those things, but the things that I love the most are the things that I showed you, like things that make my life so much easier. And it's just comforting to me. If you live in a vehicle, I'd love to know some of the things in your kitchen that you love the most. Drop it in the comments and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. So I'll leave the links. So I'll leave the links to all these measuring spoons. When, 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 and I'm lonely, and I'm, when, when. Okay, so the first thing is this, what's this thing called? When, when the roof leaks, when, 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 when. When, when the roof leaks. When the roof leaks and I'm lonely. No, that's too low. Wow, I really do love that Calypso. And then I don't feel. Why did I start that note too high? They really are some, because you're predictor. They're, they're like children. They're like protective. What? And then I don't feel so bad. That doesn't rhyme if I don't say when I'm feeling sad, then I don't feel so bad. That needs a redo. Snack time. Snack time.